Did you know there are between 2,500 and 3,000 known species of scorpions worldwide? Yep. And here's the cool part. They don't just live in deserts, like most people think. Sure, deserts have a lot of well-known species, but scorpions are way more versatile. You can find them on almost every continent, everywhere except the Arctic and Antarctica. In fact, the northernmost scorpions are found in the US and Central Europe. And get this, even in Austria, you can find small, completely harmless species like Euscorpius and Alpiscorpius. Now, here's something a lot of people get wrong. Scorpions are not crustaceans. They actually belong to the arachnids. Yep, the same family as spiders. They have four pairs of walking legs, plus a special pair up front that's turned into powerful pincers called pedipalps. These are perfect for grabbing or crushing prey. Their body is split into two main parts, the prosoma or front section, where the eyes, mouth and organs are, and the metasoma, better known as the tail. At the very tip of that tail is the telson. That's the venom gland and stinger. Let's talk about the sting, because that's what everybody worries about, right? The truth is, the venom of most scorpion species is pretty harmless to humans. For many of them, getting stung feels no worse than a bee sting, unless you happen to have an allergy. But, and here's the important part, there are some species with venom that affects the cardiovascular system or the nervous system. These are the dangerous ones, and unfortunately, they do cause human deaths every year. The most dangerous scorpions are part of the Buthidae family. Some of the most infamous names include Androctonus, found in North Africa, Arabia, all the way to India. Laurus, also in North Africa and Arabia. Hottentotter, North Africa. Parabuthus in South Africa. Centroroides, across North and Central America. And Titius, in Central and South America. Among them, the yellow Mediterranean scorpion, also called the Death Stalker, or Leorus quinquestriatus, is said to have the strongest venom of all. Believe it or not, this venom is being studied for medical purposes, things like heart disease and cancer research. And get this, it's considered the most expensive liquid in the world, worth around $9.5 million per liter. Scorpions also come in a crazy range of sizes. The largest species, Gigantometrus swamadami, can grow up to 18 centimeters long. On the other end of the scale, some species are just a few millimeters. Now, a lot of people think you can tell if a scorpion is dangerous just by its color. But nope, that's not a reliable clue. A better rule of thumb is, the thicker the tail and the thinner the pincers, the stronger the venom. That's because these scorpions rely more on venom to take down prey instead of brute strength with their claws. But of course, there are exceptions to every rule. Some of the most well-known scorpions include the Emperor Scorpion, Pandinus Imperator, big, black, and actually pretty harmless. The Death Stalker, Laurus quinquestriatus, the venom powerhouse we just talked about, and the fat-tailed scorpion, Androctonus australis, another highly venomous one. Scorpions have an exoskeleton, meaning their skeleton is on the outside, like armor. Most species are solitary and only come together during mating season. But some, like Orthochirus, live in groups. Cannibalism is also common. Yeah, scorpions sometimes eat each other. And here's a wild fact. Some South African species in the genus Parabuthus actually have two different venoms. One is really strong, used for big prey or enemies, and the other is weaker, used for small prey, or even to sedate a mate during courtship. 
Speaking of courtship, scorpions have one of the coolest mating rituals in the animal kingdom. The male performs a kind of dance, guiding the female around until he finds the perfect spot to deposit a sperm packet, called a spermatophore. He then maneuvers the female so she can pick it up. All scorpions are viviparous, which means they give birth to live young. Right after birth, the tiny baby scorpions climb onto their mother's back and stay there until they molt for the first time. During this time, the mother produces a special secretion to feed them. After that, the babies head off on their own. Pretty amazing, right? From desert hunters to cloning super mums, scorpions are full of surprises. They've been around for hundreds of millions of years, and they're still thriving today. A huge thank you to herpetologist Peter Gallick for generously sharing his knowledge and insights about scorpions. Your expertise made this content possible, and the Kahu Peak team is deeply grateful for the opportunity to learn from you. And if you want to carry a little scorpion power with you, check out the Kahu Peak merch line, where nature meets style. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more awesome animal facts, and share this video with a friend who's not afraid of creepy crawlies. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you in the next one.